Hey guys, it's Peyton and today I am going to be unboxing a giant order from Book Outlet that I hardly remember what I bought from. <laughs> I believe this is like 12 books and I really don't remember half of what I got in here even though it was like a few weeks ago when I ordered. I am actually unboxing it for you guys because in the past I just open it and lift up a box for the picture to pretend like it's an unboxing. It's heavy so I need to set it down and I'm just ready to unbox this and I probably won't even know what half of these books are about because I went on a buying spree and it just happened so I don't know what half of these are. <laughs> I got my lovely scissors. We're gonna try our best not to like kill the books because that's the important part is to keep them all nice Ooh, like they literally could not get this box to close there's so many books in here they had to like wrap tape around the whole box the wrong way just to make sure it closed so if that doesn't tell you that i got a good number of books then oh what does Book Outlet is just a place to go crazy, man. I just, it's so bad, but it's great at the same time. So the box is opening. What a lovely thing. I got a whole list of books in here. So I am not gonna look at that and I'm gonna be surprised. There's a whole bunch of paper in here protecting them books. So now that the paper is gone, we're gonna get into the actual books. I need to put this somewhere so I can get into it. The first book that I have here is Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. I have recently discovered my love for Neil Schusterman. And this book was one that I was interested in trying out by him. I know that this is based off of his son who has schizophrenia. And I believe the main character also does too. And it's just about him overcoming that. I did listen to some of this book on audiobook, but then I just kind of really wanted to wait for the physical copy because I just was not giving it the time that it deserved or the attention that it deserved. So I'm really excited to read this one. And it has come in a really great condition for for a very cheap hardback. The next book that I see is The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. I got this because it is a wintry romance and I don't really have many of those and I really have been wanting to get more into contemporary books even though it's not normally my thing but every now and then I am just wanting to pull for them and a lot of my contemporaries I've already read even though there's a bunch that I still haven't read but whatever. I believe this is about a girl who has a friend that committed suicide and she has like a message on her phone of the last thing that her friend sent and she just has been ignoring it, just did not want to open it and it's kind of taking over her life. This is a New Year's Eve romance where I believe a girl and a guy meet up at an airport and they accidentally switch phones and they just go on this whole whirlwind of a journey. I really don't know much about it. I just thought it looks cute and I was hoping this would come before New Year's Eve so I could read this but who cares. So we'll see you whenever I get to this because you know me I get my book out orders and then they just sit on my shelf. The next book that I got is one I'm really excited for Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. I just recently read Eliza and Her Monsters so I'm definitely really excited that I now have this one. I really don't know much about what the actual plot is. I think it's like a mental health book. I think this might be schizophrenia as well. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what this is. I'm really excited to give this one a try though, since Eliza and Her Monsters was one of my favorite books of the year. I just recently read it. So it's perfect that I finally have this one and I really like this cover. The next one I am so hyped to have because I have been waiting to get it, but it's always been like expensive or I just been broke. So Unite Me by Tahra Mafi. These are the two novellas for the Shatter Me series, which is Destroy Me and Fracture Me. I have really wanted to read these because I have loved the Shatter Me series so much and I have reread them. So I definitely want to dive into these novellas. It's really short and I just would love to see the point of view of Adam and Warner, but... <laughs> more so Warner because we love some Warner over here in Peyton Reed's booktube channel. So I'm so happy to finally add this to my collection. Definitely going to read this one soon. The next book that I got was The Anatomical Shape of a Heart. I saw this one on Book Outlet and read the description and was really intrigued by it. I believe it's about a romance and they do graffiti art with each other and that's just kind of like a wild side that I'm interested in reading about. So apparently the 
main character, Beatrix, is trying to be like Da Vinci and she's entering a museum sponsored scholarship contest which is about drawing cadavers. What? And I guess she meets this guy that really likes graffiti. <laughs> Obviously don't know much about it but the whole graffiti thing really intrigued me and it seemed to have good reviews on Goodreads. If you can't tell, I'm quite interested to get into more contemporary that I haven't really heard of before so that's why I picked this one up. It seems like it may be cute. The next book I have here is The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oaks. I have seen this book around and I always thought the plot was quite interesting. I believe it is about a girl who was a part of a cult and she gets out of that environment and the book follows her afterwards on just coping with everything that happened to her. This also says she ends up in a juvenile detention which sounds like an interesting setting to read about. I obviously don't know much about any of these books because I really just saw them for cheap and was like oh that looks kind of cool. Click put into the cart or whatever but I'm pretty sure that's what the basic summary about this is and just the whole thing like that is just like whoa I am interested to read this because I feel like it could be a very powerful story. The next book that I got was A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. I know Blonde with a Book really loves this book and she raves about it on Twitter and stuff like that so I have been interested in reading this one and I saw it for cheap so I'm so excited. It is a modern take on Sherlock Holmes. There's a Charlotte Holmes and a Jamie Watson and they're basically a detective team. I think they get framed for something and they have to come together and figure out what actually happened with this crime and who actually did this and who's framing them. And this is also in a school setting. So that is really interesting to me. I like the worst booktuber ever. <laughs> I'm just really excited to finally have this one and fly through it since it's so freaking small. The next book that I got was This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. I've heard Emma Mills is such a great contemporary writer. I am in the mood to get some romances in my life. I just really like to read about really cutesy romances sometimes and I just don't have enough to choose from on my shelf. So it's about a girl who moves from New York to Florida and she becomes friends with a group of people that are a little wild. I don't know what this vague description is talking about but I'm sure she meets some guy and love sparkles. What does that mean? Love sparkles. <laughs> love sparks. That's what I meant to say. It says friendship, fandom, art, love, and finding the people you never knew you needed. So fandom, I did not know that was a part of this book so you can bet that is something I am excited for with this. And the cover is just so freaking cute and I really really want to love this book. Like this is such a cute book to love. Like oh guys it's my favorite book. Like it would be so cute if this was my favorite book. <laughs> the next book I got was Bad Girls with Perfect Faces by Lynn Weingarten. I saw this on Witty Novels' channel and she I think think was kind of interested in it. I don't know if she ever finished it. I was watching her vlogs. It's kind of like a thriller YA novel and I'm intrigued in that genre. I just haven't really read a lot of them. I don't even know. So basically this is about a girl named Sasha who has a best friend named Xavier and he goes back to be with his cheating ex and she really doesn't like this. So she goes online to create a profile to lure him away from this ex-girlfriend. Apparently things go wrong and it doesn't really say in the description what exactly goes wrong. It says she soon learns to be careful of who you pretend to be or you might be surprised by who you become. So I think maybe the main character goes down some like really dark path. I loved Pretty Little Liars other than that last episode that ruined my life and this kind of gives me those vibes of just going behind people's backs and going online. Like I just love things like that so I think I might really enjoy this. The next book that I got was Wild Bird by Wendelin Van Drainen. I saw this book and it instantly struck my attention. I didn't really know what it was about but then I read the description and I'm pretty sure it is about a girl who is in a desert all alone and she has to learn to survive and like this is not her environment to like 
figure out. And she was forced to be there because it's supposed to be like a wilderness therapy thing. I don't really understand what this is, but the whole survival trope, like just using what you have sort of thing is something I really love. I love like survival television shows like The Walking Dead. Like they'll just do anything they can to survive. I love that idea and that might not end up being what this really is, but it is a learning journey while being alone and just learning to survive. And that just kind of struck home with me. I was like, ooh, this looks kind of interesting. And this author also wrote The Running Dream, which is a book that I've seen around for years and I've heard good things about. So I thought, why not? Because this book was so cheap. <laughs> the next book that I got was Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. Julie is going to be really happy about this one because she absolutely loves this book and I basically got it for her. Pretty sure this is about a girl who kind of starts this feminist group in her school and it's all about we are female we are cool like we got this moxie girls fight back i obviously like suck at descriptions so apparently she creates a feminist zine which is like a little magazine for her school and she hands them out and it's like an anonymous thing and i think it just brings a lot of girls together and that just sounds in itself like an amazing thing. I would love to be a part of something like that and I don't know if I'm just stupid but I thought this was becoming a movie. Am I like pulling that out of my butt or what? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> and we are now to the final book that I got from Book Outlet this time and that is Midnight at the Electric by Jody Lynn Anderson. This is the author of Tiger Lily which I still haven't read but I have been interested for a long time because it is a Peter Pan retelling I believe. And when I saw this book, I was instantly intrigued. It apparently takes place between three different time periods with three different girls and somehow their lives interconnect. The first time period is 2065 and the girl lives on Mars. The next time period is 1934 and it's Oklahoma during the Dust Bowl. And the next time period is 1919 in England during the First World War. All of that sounds pretty crazy. Like, how is that going to connect? And when I read the description, I was like, <laughs> I am intrigued on knowing how this author is going to make all of this intertwine because all of these characters, apparently their stories, they go places. Like it's interconnecting. While their stories spend thousands of miles and multiple generations, Lenore, Catherine, and Adri's fates are intertwined in ways both heartbreaking and hopeful. I just feel like this book is going to get me in my heart and my feelings. Whatever this is going to do, it's kind of vague. I'm into it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Tell me down below if you love Book Outlet or you think it's a bad influence thing because it's so cheap and then you just can't help but go crazy. <laughs> also, let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're interested now to pick any of them up because of this video. Like this video, comment down below. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Make sure to follow all my social medias, which are linked down below and go click the bell button, which is right by the subscribe button, which you should have already clicked and goodbye.